yes, Helen, the first couple of days, George loved it. He was in his glory. But now he's ready to climb the walls because Florence won't leave him alone. She waits on him hand and foot. She's done everything but dust his eyeballs. <laughs> you know what he's been doing for the last couple of days? The moment he gets home, he locks himself in his room. Anything to get away from her. No, he can't tell her to stop. You know, George, that would be admitting he was wrong. I gotta hang up now. Here come Marcia Jefferson. <laughs> Hello, George. Shh. Where's Florence? She's in a room. Good. Oh. Good evening, Master Jefferson, sir. What are you wearing? Why, this is my new maiden uniform. I just bought it today, sir. Why? Are we having pancakes for dinner? <laughs> If he were any funnier, they'd put him away. Oh, um, um, you give me them shoes, Master Jefferson. For what? They need shining. Look, Florence. Now, just let me help you take them off. Look, Florence, you don't have to do that. Oh, I don't mind. Just lift your little foot. Look, you ain't supposed to be shining nobody's shoe. Well, don't you think I can do a good job? Well, sure you could. Uh, well, then just let me help you take them off. Florence, you get out of my shoes. <laughs> oh, Florence, see me. I done made you mad. <laughs> No, I ain't out. I'm sorry, boy. Hey, stop it, Mom. Get this one off me. Hey. I get it. I get it. Good afternoon, Master Bentley, sir. I say, I'll bet you'll win first prize. <laughs> prize? Why, this ain't no costume. This is my maiden uniform. Excuse me, Master and Miss Jefferson, but it's Master Bentley from next door. Uh, come a calling. We can see that. Well, now y'all's done heard it. Y'all want me to let him in? Just get out of his way. Yes, sir, Master Jefferson. Excuse me for intruding like this, but by the sheerest coincidence, today's my day to run out of cream. May I borrow some? Oh, I don't know, Master Bentley. I have to ask the massa. The massa? <laughs> Can Master Bentley have some cream, sir? Yes. Now, you just wait right there, Master Bentley. I'll get it for you, sir. I'll be right back, sir, and I won't be long, sir. Um, don't tell me now. Um, gone with the wind. Nope. It's Uncle George's cabin. Here's your cream, Master Bentley. I'm sorry it took me so long, sir. I sure hope y'all enjoys it. Well, thank you, Florence. I'm, I'm sure I will. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, it looks like very good uh, cream. Mm-hmm. White and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Master Bentley! What? Looky what there, looky there! What is it? You has got a button loose on your jacket. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I'll fix it when I get home. Oh, no, sir. That ain't gentleman's work, sir. That's maiden work. Now, I'll get a needle and thread and have it fixed for y'all in a jiffy. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> you get the strange feeling we're about to be attacked by bull weevils. Here I come, Master Bentley. Now, y'all just take off that jacket and I'll have it fixed as nice as you please. Uh, no, Florence, really. Oh, Master Bentley, Master Jefferson likes me to do neat work. Florence, will you get off of the man? Oh, no, sir, Master Jefferson. I can't let him leave here looking like this. Uh, yes, you can if you try. Oh, no, sir. No, sir, Master Bentley. That would bring shame on the house of my master. Stop it, Florence. Oh, no, sir, Master Jefferson. You done showed me the way. I was done wrong. I was an untidy maid, but you done showed me the light. You cut out, Lord. Stop it. Stop it. Say, please. <laughs>